So Nova Scotia's minimum wage is going to increase by one dollar an hour, and that's going up from what it is right now at 11.55 to 12.55. It's all happening on April 1st, but the question is, is that enough? Overall, it's going to be better because it's around two thousand dollars extra come the end of the year. So that's a significant amount of money in terms of that could pay a month of rent, that can get you uh, two or three months of food. Yes, the income is obviously being taxed, but you're still going to have you know some extra leeway and a little bit of extra cushioning or almost cushioning so that's a good thing so again the provincial government is going to make this change on April 1st and they're saying this is the largest increase that Nova Scotia's wage has ever seen since 2010 Jeremy Keefe from Global Halifax has narrowed it down perfectly for us in his tweet over here he interviewed the Labour Minister and we can narrow it down to these three facts it's gonna add two thousand dollars more pay into the average Nova Scotians pocket a fifteen dollar minimum wage could be crippling but he expects a fifteen dollar minimum wage to be coming in four to six years. I'm interested in your opinion. Do you think a $15 minimum wage would be crippling for businesses? I get the nuance in that. For example, I run my own small business. I make a, an okay income for somebody working for himself, but if I were to go and get a job, I would probably make more. There are some months where if my work volume isn't as high, I start to wonder if my expenses are too high this month, I'm gonna have to go into savings. Obviously, that's a lot better than somebody who is struggling and at the poverty line, but when I first started my business, it was like that. It was very difficult to be able to make monthly expenses. It was very difficult to just feel like a normal person. So if I wanted to expand or if I had something going on and if I wanted to hire even an assistant, paying them 15 would be crippling, especially if as a small business owner, I'm only, you know, back then making like, 1200 a month, how am I gonna pay someone full time for 15? So that's the biggest issue there. So I understand it from that side, but I think businesses that can afford it should invest in their workers like that. I think we should be striving for that. For example, as a small business, I should be striving to be able to pay that 15 if I could. I've read three to four news reports on this today and each one of them quotes NDP leader Gary Burrell. And these are his points. He says, we're in a province that is the only one in Canada that has worsening child poverty. We've got the lowest median incomes in the whole country. And to counterpose the interest of the economy and the interest of those who need a $15 wages, I think a shallow and mixed up understanding of how the economy of Nova Scotia works. This article over here is from the Cape Breton Post. It says that other critics like Nova Scotia's director of the Canadian Center for Policy Alternatives says that we need a higher minimum wage. Also, businesses that continue to pay poverty wages externalize the costs of a business model that takes a negative toll on workers' health and the ability to contribute to their potential. I really like these situations where there's always a right answer, oh, too, too much minimum wage, or oh, not enough minimum wage. We're hacking at the leaves here. Like I think the biggest issue here in Nova Scotia is A, we should be bringing in people that stimulate our economy and purchase more services, and we should work on on our profit line so that we can you know create more profit for ourselves and lower costs but also be able to contribute and pay our employees respectively I think a lot of these issues circle back to affordable housing and affordable apartment costs because one of the largest expenditures of anybody is where they live it's either their mortgage it's their apartment it's the cost of that so if we can keep living costs at a low then we can live off the wage that you know employers pay us and not only can we take that income but we can can reinvest that income and then start building ourselves compound interest and start investing as individuals. It's really about reducing our overhead not increasing our expenditures. Everything's inflating so quickly. So I think this city really needs to put at the center of their priority list affordable housing. And that means building more affordable housing in areas that, that you can drive the cost down lower, but also making sure that developers have enough incentive to come in. It means extracting bonus zoning from, from developers that come in and you know have buildings that are higher than they're meant to be. It's not about is this you know increased too much? Is this increased too little? The problem is everybody has to keep spending more. Employers have to keep spending more. Employees have to keep spending more. Let's reduce the overall cost of the city and then aggressively save what we're earning. The cost of everything is just far too high. And if you're going to accommodate that cost, then you should be doing things to stimulate our economy and bring new people in. I haven't seen a video from Nova Scotia Tourism in the past 
few years. What's happening on that front? So what I'm saying is I think there are so many different ways that we can contribute to not only bringing down costs in the city, but, but opening up the city for strategic partnerships. And I want to talk a lot more about that and about what I think can be done. I'm going to go back to Halifax. One of my goals is to sit in on the city council meetings and then start putting a lot of this on my website. So right now I have my site running. You can check out the blog. I recommend it. I'm going to start writing and contributing more on that. There is no paywall. It is completely free. You can read everything and I answer all your questions generally within 24 hours. So I'd really appreciate if you check that out and give me some suggestions. What are some other issues in Nova Scotia that's important to you? What sort of legwork do you want me to do while you're at work and, and, and you want to learn more about our city? What are things that I can bring to you? Again, my name is Nader Nader Najat. I appreciate you watching this video and if there's any questions, let me know. Subscribe, smash the notification bell and take care.